I thought you were taking us to Moot Headquarters, dude. I thought you were taking us to Moot Headquarters, dude. Here we go again. Oh, jeez. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Moot Points. I'm Dylan. This is Brian. Let's jump right into it. Our first point of the day, if you couldn't tell, is the new hero in Overwatch. His name is Hammond. He's a little cute hamster. He rolls in a ball, aka wrecking ball, and he seems like he's going to be OP. What do you think, Brian? Uh... <laughs> I love the little guy already. <laughs> I think he brings a lot of personality to Overwatch, which Definitely. is, well, I mean, that's what you can expect, is their characters all have, like, rich backstories, yeah. strong personalities people can always connect with. Which is really cool. Yeah, definitely. It yeah. makes the game, it gives the game much more uh, playability and just enjoyability in the long term, mm -hmm. uh, which is exciting. Uh, so the name of the new character is Wrecking Ball, as you mentioned, and then Hammond is the little hamster inside. Mm -hmm. uh, he has some connections to Winston. That's right. He comes from uh, Horizon Lunar Colony, where uh, Winston originated from as well. Um, so it's cool to see them developing this lore and the stories and stuff like that. Um, and he looks fun on the PTR so far. Have you seen mm -hmm. any of that footage yet? Yeah, I saw a little bit of it. And... I mean, he just looks like a crazy hamster in a ball. And, you know, he's got yeah. his two turrets coming out. It almost reminds me a little bit of, um, obviously, D.Va. That's, like, that's the main a, Yeah, comparison, that's the first thing. But a little bit more far-fetched. Um, speaking of a movie that just came out recently, The Incredibles 2. Oh, yeah. Um, in the first episode, there are these big ball machine things yeah. with the four legs coming out. Yeah. They have the guns, you know what I mean? Yeah. It kind of reminded me of that guy. So D Didn't those guys remind you of Star Wars? They did. Aren't those the, the droids from one of the earlier yeah, episodes the of rolling, Star Wars? Yeah. yeah. Well, there you have it, folks. The hamster is from Star Wars. Case closed. And then also we should talk about Spider-Man because the ball, the wrecking ball, you can swing You can swing around with a grappling hook. With, one, one with of, Hammond? One, well, wrecking ball is the name of the character. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. But, you know. One of wrecking ball's abilities is a grappling hook. So you grapple onto something and you can swing, and then if you go fast enough and hit people, you deal damage. It's pretty cool. <laughs> that sounds so outrageous. It's, hey, Overwatch in a nutshell, baby. I mean, do you think it's going to be in the meta? Uh, Wrecking Ball, I could see being in the meta. Uh, teams, you, you look for uh, tanks that can make plays mm -hmm. and really create space yeah. for the rest of your team to execute their jobs. And Hammond, Wrecking Ball, uh, seems like he should be able to do that. Um, I think it, you know, it'll just come down to what the meta looks like when he comes out, but people will try it, and yeah. maybe, maybe it'll work. I know I'm going to try it. I don't play much Overwatch, but I'm still going to try yeah, it. Yeah, for this little guy? Yeah. yeah. Read little Hammond. Read well, one. I hope at some point we see him squeaking out of his little mech, and it's just yeah. a hamster running around the map just like a wild hamster. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, uh, hopefully. But that's kind of our thoughts on that's it. It, it looks really cool. I'm excited to play with him. I know Brian is too. Big time. Um, let us know what you guys think. On to the next topic, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for Post of the Week. You can find it here. It is coming this week by Malted, a beautiful Moot user. And he is talking about the new PUBG update. And I don't know if you guys saw it, but it is quite a large update. They it's got pretty a new, exciting. Yeah, yeah. They have a new map, Sandhawk. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of new updates to make the gunplay better, just the overall feel of the game smoother. Mm. Um, and there's this new assault rifle that you were telling me about. Yeah. Um, and you said it's broken, to quote you? I. You can quote me on that. Okay. I, I, I don't know if I would actually go so far as to call it literally broken. Uh, but I think it's the strongest assault rifle in the game and yeah. kind of by extension the strongest gun in the game if other than the extreme exceptions that are the crate sniper rifles mm -hmm. like the AWM is still right. the strongest. Speaking of the feel of the new update, the servers are buttery smooth. Uh, all of our favorite streamers have just been loving it. Everyone's yeah. coming back to PUBG. I at heard least. Doc say it a few times. Yeah, and yeah. Um, you, the new map is just fantastic. It's it's Maybe it's just because it's new but uh, the pace of play on the new map, the games take about as long, but it feels so much better mm -hmm. because what's happening is that uh, the, the, the circles uh, are faster, mm -hmm. but the gas moves slower. Interesting. So, 
and the, the, the distance between the current circle and the next circle is smaller than it used to be. Okay. Um, so you have to travel less of a distance, but more frequently. So instead of needing to trek multiple kilometers to get from one circle to the next, it's maybe a kilometer, maybe half a kilometer. Interesting. So it's like the map is smaller, but the combat and the, the players are less spread out. Yeah. Um, it's just much more uh, exciting gameplay. So yeah, the majority of the update is definitely solid, but mm. there is an elephant in the room here. The yeah. event pass. Mm -hmm. it, the event pass did not go over smoothly with fans. People are not happy about it. You know, I mean, we see games here. It seems like it's a new theme coming up that a lot of games are implementing some sort of pass that's coming yeah. out. And we've seen it, the Rocket Pass, obviously the Fortnite Battle Pass, and now we have the PUBG event yeah. pass. Why was this one so much worse than others? What's so cool about the Fortnite Pass and the Rocket League Pass is that even if you don't buy it, you still get things out of it, including skins, including in-game currency that you can use to unlock skins you actually want, uh, dances, everything. Now, in the PUBG event pass, the way it was initially pitched, the th if you only did the free version, mm -hmm. you would unlock those items for a limited time. So you would, you would complete your missions and level up your battle pass, and you would unlock a sweet pair of pants, and then it would say, you get these pants for three weeks. And That's a bummer. The reason the Fortnite Pass was so successful is because it actually gave you stuff even when you did the free version. Yeah. And then that inspired you to be like, well, this is actually really cool. I want the expensive version. I want even more stuff. Right. But the PUBG one just gives you effectively nothing. It gives you these challenges which are either mundane or insane. Yeah. Um, oh, nice. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, I feel good about that one. <laughs> um, and then you accomplish them and you, your achievement is only temporary. Um, and honestly, you look at the Fortnite um, rewards for achieving things, mm -hmm. and it's cool. Like you were saying, it's like a dance or like a, a cool new skin. The PUBG like skins and everything really don't do it for me. Yeah. It's like, ooh, let me get a cool scarf or like a fedora and, and as many skirts. It's just like, eh. Like I'd rather I have mean, like an alien costume. As someone that has spent money to get a matching outfit in PUBG, while I do feel a little bit personally attacked by what you're saying right now, <laughs> I also can't help but agree. Uh, the cosmetics in PUBG, other than my outfit, uh, Sean, can we get a screenshot of that, please? Looking <laughs> fantastic. Looking don't, pretty good. Don't ask me why I play as a female character. Um, uh, I have to agree with what you're saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much our stance on the new update. Overall, pretty good. What's a score that you would give it out of 10? I mean, just for just for how good it feels to play on Sandhawk, I'll still give it nine out of ten. Nine. Um, as far as an update goes, Solid like nine rookie score. You you don't need uh, the event the event pass. You don't need to do that. Nah. Um, just enjoy the game. You already overpaid for it when you paid thirty bucks for the what it was a year mm -hmm. ago. Just come back, play a bit of PUBG, Fortnite, and really Realm Royale will be waiting for you an hour or two after you get bored. Just uh, he ain't lying. Overall, though, I mean, it's a pretty good update. You ask me, I give it an 8.73 out of 10. Pretty solid score. Let us know what you guys think. A score out of 10 in the comments below. Shout out to Ainsley Harriet for the meme of the week. Pretty good this week. Not going to lie. I nice always one. loved your guys' submissions. Please make sure to post your memes around any lounge on Moot. We will find it, we will post you here, and you will become a celebrity. That is it for this week's episode, ladies and gentlemen. But as always, before we go, we have one question for you. And it is, if you could create a remastered version of any game in existence, what would it be? Oh, I know what I would say. Yeah. And this is actually happening, a uh, vanilla World of Warcraft. That the classic or vanilla means original in video game speak. Yeah. The classic original World of Warcraft, nothing beats it. And they're coming out with vanilla World of Warcraft servers later this year. So I'm putting in my however many months. Okay. <laughs> I know we already had our Pokemon announcement for the year, but if we could recreate Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue and bring it to the modern systems, that would make my life. Now we are out of here. See you next week.